how did you um, how did you decide to make the transition from you know a, a band who's playing the Bear Valley into taking it more seriously and taking it to that next step? Uh, I remember Dad uh, printed out these uh, flyers. I remember about uh, six months or so after we did that show, he printed up this little flyer that just had, kind of had a biography of the band and the family and what we played and all that, and some pictures and stuff. And he randomly sent that out. So he called every tourist book. Yeah. Sure. He got every tourist book he could find, sent them, and looked up every festival or any event around the area, and then he sent those out to them. And we finally got some calls. From that, yeah, there was interest, and that was just, you know, some people said, hey, we'd love to have you guys come do our event. And a lot of it uh, pushed us out of state, uh, more towards the Midwest, and Missouri, and Iowa, and that kind of thing. And, you know, yeah, with the interest, it just kind of kept growing and growing and growing and growing. It was not a, you know, anything intentional. It was no marketing. Pretty gradual. <laughs> you know, just the, it was almost a snowball. I'm watching snowfall outside right now. <laughs> it's kind of the snowball effect where it just kept gradually getting bigger and bigger. It wasn't necessarily a plan that I ever going to do this full time. My mom had still had a full time job at that time. It was more of a weekend thing. And then just the fuller the calendar got, the more we started to steer everybody towards doing that full time. Now you guys made the big decision to move from from Colorado to to Missouri. Mm -hmm. uh, did you have friends who you could go to Missouri to, or was that? Wait, wait, it wasn't really much another book story. Yeah. Yeah. Another, yeah. another book story. This is got a book that said he wanted to find out the best places in America to live, and one of them was Joplin, Missouri. <laughs> so we decided for, for a house for low for low cost living, and you know, low you listed all the you know all the plus prices and everything, and for the cost of living and everything, Joplin, Missouri was one of those places. Plus, at that time, everything we played was from you know. Mississippi River on, you know, east or you know, in that Midwest area, further on. So living in Colorado, it put us a long ways away from most of the shows that we were playing at that time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There, there was also some bands in, in Missouri at the time that encouraged us to move there. There was at that time there was a lot of festivals. It's kind of dried up a little bit more since we moved there, and I'm not not saying we're responsible. For that. <laughs> <laughs> there used to be yeah, a, may not every, be every weekend there'd be <laughs> three or four festivals going on somewhere in Missouri, and it, it has slowed down a little since then. But so was you know central location. But uh, but by then we were pretty busy as a band. It'd be hard to 